Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I am actually going to be doing an art haul. I just got these things that I ordered right before my birthday today. So it took around a week for it to get here. And I'm excited to see what I got. I do know what I got, but I kind of forgot exactly what it was. So we're gonna see right now. So this is the first thing I pulled out. I have no idea what it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it said Payne's Gray and I was kind of confused. But it's not Payne's Gray. It's my Holbein gouache that I ordered spare from the other ones that I already ordered. So the, I got a turquoise green. I got a turquoise green. A primary white and a primary magenta I think I meant to get opera pink but I ended up purchasing this one I don't mind I heard it's good for mixing okay so to accompany this I actually got a set of Holbein gouache just to test it out and see if I like it because all the gouache I've had in the past was Reeves gouache and I wasn't really a fan of it so I purchased a mixing set of these um, very nice, actually, Holbein gouaches. They look really good, and they're 15 milliliters, so it's a really good size. And they're just the primary mixing colors. That's why I kind of got the white um, to help, it, just in case I run out, because I heard that you use a lot of white when you use gouache. The next thing I got is this fluid watercolor paper block and this one, wow, this is actually very smooth and it's uh, glued on the sides so that it prevents warping. I think it's because it's a hot press watercolor paper and I just wanted to try out something new. I didn't get the Fluid 100 and that was my bad. It was an accident. I actually meant to get the Fluid 100 but I heard this one's good as well. Well, I heard the cold press is good, so I don't know about the hot press. Okay, and finally, I actually got another block of watercolor paper because I really wanted a bigger size just to play around with the size. You know, I don't have my biggest watercolor paper right now that I use is this watercolor. It's the B watercolor paper. I don't even remember what size it is. But it's, it's much smaller than this paper sheet, so I'm excited to see what I can create on here. Okay, since I didn't get that many things, I'm going to swatch out the art supplies on this piece of paper, and then I might just do a small little piece and see how everything works together. So I'm very excited. Let's swatch these. Okay, so now I'm swatching the paints, and I really like these colors. They're very nice. And the funny thing about this is I had to put the paints in the fridge and freezer for a little while because they were waiting outside because I wasn't in my house for a little bit. Um, they were waiting outside, and they, it was really hot, so I was scared that these paints were going to explode all over my hands. So some of them are a little bit thicker and some of them are a little bit more watery. So I want to see if there's a difference later on while I'm playing with it later. And maybe, I don't know, maybe they're a little bit more jelly-ish than what they were when I squeezed them out fresh out of the fridge. But that was really interesting. As I said, I'm really new to this whole gouache thing. And I've only had really, really cheap sets before, so I didn't know what to expect, but they water down very nicely. They almost felt like watercolor. They're basically just opaque watercolor, so that doesn't surprise me too much, but they were very vibrant and they spread pretty easily. I would put down some solid color and then um, clean up my brush and then come in with a little bit of water and spread it and it would spread very nice 
but I don't know. The paper is weird, so it didn't make the ink when I was writing. It didn't make the ink spread, so that's good. But it took the water really weird. Um, it feels more like a student grade paper, but I I was not really a fan of the paper. It has like this thing where the paint kind of just sits on the top and it takes a little bit longer to to like dry i don't know i i wasn't a big fan i'm going to continue to use it because i already spent money on it i i should probably just use the whole block but it's so weird i don't know what you would use it for maybe like just ink work or I don't know, I, I'm gonna try and figure that out. I'll come back with a review of this paper and the textured paper later on, maybe next week or maybe the week after, but it was really a really interesting experience. Okay, so for the actual piece, I am sorry the lighting changed. But it got dark outside and I wanted to continue filming this video, so I just put a lamp next to me. And I decided to draw Josuke because he's adorable. And I just started watching Jojo's Bizarre Adventure again. And it's really interesting. I don't know. It's weird, but kind of entertaining. So if you haven't watched that, I recommend you go watch it. It's pretty cool. And moving on to the paper, I really want to talk about the paper. It's so weird. Like every stroke I put down, you could see it. And later on, I figured out that if you take a wet brush, just a clean wet brush, and smooth out the streaks, that kind of helps a little bit. But I was not a huge fan of the paper. I will come back with a review and tell you about my thoughts in about a week or two. But. First impressions were that I don't really like this paper, but I will use it because I paid for it. <laughs> okay, so this is what I was able to come up with with all these supplies. I am not a huge fan of this hot press paper because it doesn't have a lot of texture on it and it kind of has the paint beating up at the top. So it means that it's not being absorbed into the paper immediately. So it can be pushed around a little bit and it leaves kind of a weird texture, but I really like the gouache. It has some very nice colors. I am a beginner, as I said, in gouache because I've only ever used Reeves gouache in the past. So I'm gonna get used to that soon, probably. I'll be practicing. But yeah, overall I think this was pretty successful. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider subscribing and liking if you did enjoy. And check me out on Instagram. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.